When you're recording a scripted piece of video content, a teleprompter is a great way to make sure you get everything as accurate as possible and in one take. You can actually use your mobile device as a teleprompter and we're going to recommend some apps both for iPhone, Android, and your desktop device where you can use a teleprompter when you record your video content. If you're using a mirrorless or interchangeable lens camera, we highly recommend the Padcaster. This is a Parrot teleprompter. This can actually screw directly onto the lens of your camera, hold your mobile phone as the teleprompter device, and allow you to read off the teleprompter while looking directly into the camera lens. This is what it looks like. You can take off the cover and you'll see you have the one-way mirror on there. This piece comes down and it will hold your mobile phone and it can reflect onto the glass. And it comes with multiple rings to fit different lens sizes in the box and it's ready to screw onto the lens of your camera and use your mobile device as a teleprompter. And the Padcaster actually comes with this remote in the box. It will connect to your mobile device via Bluetooth and will actually allow you to control the teleprompter with the remote. You can slow down the text, speed it up, start and stop with the OK button. One thing to remember when using a teleprompter is try to move a little farther away from the camera than usual. When you're closer to the lens, you will see your eyes actually scan the lines of text and you can see that movement. The farther you are away from the camera, the more that scanning will be less prevalent. Again, just five or six feet away from the camera will do the trick. And if you have a larger camera and tripod set up, you can also use an iPad for a teleprompter using the same apps we're about to recommend, but we'll put a link in the video description to those iPad teleprompter setups. Now there are multiple teleprompter apps that you can get for both iPhone, Android, and iPad, but we recommend this teleprompter premium app. It's the same app on every platform, including the desktop, and will actually sync all your scripts to your various devices. You have lots of options, including things like keyboards, game controllers, presentation remotes, and even foot pedals to control the teleprompter, and you can even airplay to external displays. But whichever app you choose, the key feature you need to be sure of is that you have this mirroring text ability. Depending on your teleprompter setup, you'll need to be able to mirror the text upside down and backwards so you can read it off the glass. You'll find links to that teleprompter premium app for both iPhone, Android, iPad, and the Mac in the video description. Now, if you're recording with Riverside or hosting a webinar from your laptop, you can also use teleprompter applications on that computer and still read the script. Again, there are lots of choices in the app stores, but this is the teleprompter premium app here on a Mac. You have all the same font and size settings, and you can even connect that remote control to your Mac to control it discreetly from your hand. You can choose the speed that it scrolls, and when you're ready, you can hit start. You can change the speed even while it's going, but when recording on a laptop or desktop, the main thing to remember is the camera is here up at the top of the screen typically. So you wanna have the teleprompter as far up on your display as possible, and also make the window a little narrower so your eyes are not scanning very far away from that middle of the screen. Then try to keep your reading here up at the top so your eyes are as close to the camera as possible as you record. And here's what it looks like when I'm actually reading the text across the teleprompter screen. Again, you might see my eyes scanning from left to right. The farther back you move, the less that scanning will be pronounced as you read the teleprompter. Lastly, if you'd like to use your iPhone or iPad as a teleprompter but don't want to purchase a third-party app, you can actually use the built-in application called Pages directly from Apple that actually has a teleprompter-like feature. You can download the Pages app for free on your iPhone or iPad. We'll put a link in the video description. And if you have a document already written out, tap the three dots here in the top right, it's the same process on iPad or iPhone, and open Presenter Mode. Presenter Mode will actually automatically scroll the text like a teleprompter. You can increase the size, color, and the speed of the scroll. Turn on the Auto Scroll toggle, and now it will automatically scroll just like a teleprompter. You can read off of this from a podium, or you can even prop your iPhone or iPad in front of your camera and read off of that as you record. But remember, reading from a teleprompter that's a little off camera, you will see your eyes not looking directly into the lens. So if you wanna make sure you're making direct contact with your viewer as you read from a transcript, we recommend using the Padcaster with your mobile device or the iPad teleprompter setup that we'll link in the video description. If you have any questions on using a teleprompter or recording high quality video and audio with Riverside, leave a comment below this video. We'd love to answer you there. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. We have lots of content on equipment recommendations, recording from a mobile device, and even how to use video switchers with Riverside. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.